this is such a flattering angle. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful friends. So for today, I'm going to be testing out all the new makeup that I bought at the Sephora haul. And I want to know, did I just waste close to like $500? I was just joking. Or were these items actually worth it? Let's find out. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly start off with the Dr. Dennis Gross. This is the Plump and Repair Lip Treatment right here. Um, like I said, I've heard amazing things about this and I never see it in store and um, this is bigger than what I thought it was. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. Michael. It's a little scary. Um, so like, what do I do? Um, um, it says, your go-to daily lip addiction for supple, smooth, and more volumized lips. This 3D lip volumizer immediately plumps while restoring the lips and natural moisture barrier for visibly fuller, hydrated, youthful looking lips. Okay, well, what, how do I take this? Okay, how does this work? Oh, I just push up, okay. Very interesting component. Just kind of like push it up. So we're just gonna leave this sitting here while we do our makeup together. So I'm gonna go in for um, my eyes. I'm gonna use this little mini um, um, YSL, a uh, little mini clutch. Um... I can't even talk. <laughs> it's the first thing in the morning. It's a little mini clutch eyeshadow palette. I got this in PR, which I still don't know how I got PR from um, YSL, but I did. And I'm very, very like, intrigued by it. So, so today we're just going to do a nice little chill video where I'm testing out all the new makeup because I'm actually going to a, um, Tarte event. Now I was not invited to this Tarte event. Everybody's invited to the Tarte event. Essentially what it is, it's a Tarte like kindness tour where they're kind of doing pop-ups all over the United States where they're doing, um, like amazing swag bags. You get to meet the owner of Tarte. There's like, raffles, there's giveaways, there's free stuff there. So that's what we're going to go do today. Um, I'm definitely going to vlog and let you guys know what I think. And then I'll do like a follow-up video because I'm curious because I saw the one that happened in Tampa. Now the one that happened in Tampa, apparently um, Maureen, the owner, was like an hour or so late to the event. And then not everybody got a swag bag. Like the first like 250 people got a swag bag, but then like nobody else did. I'm gonna go into this little shade right here. Nobody else did. So like they gave out like coupons to say, oh, if you miss the event, we will um, give you a coupon. You can go email us and we'll send you a swag bag. Oh, that's more pigment than I thought it was. So um, I was like, oh wow. So they got like a, a tote bag. The ones that did get stuff, they got like a tote bag. They got a sweater. They got a couple lip vinyls. They got like a tubing mascara and everything. Now I saw that today's event, there's gonna be like 700 people that get stuff. But this time it's just a Tarte Maracuja lip, one like lip product, one tubing mascara. You can redeem a free, um, concealer with they've got like a little voucher so i'm just really curious to see if this is going to end up being worth it because i have no idea what to expect but i am excited to go and I'm like i said i'm definitely going to vlog it for you guys i'm just kind of curious like what this event ha will have to offer this is like hurting my lips a little bit it's like stinging i feel like my lips are kind of like changing color a little bit i don't know if you guys can tell <laughs> but um see so yeah, i'm really curious i'm going to vlog it and i'll definitely let you guys know what i think of the event and if it was actually worth kind of like planning my whole day around because I feel like I got to get there early because like people were like we're getting in line a couple hours ahead before they came. And I feel like I got to do the same thing. So I'm like rushing over here to leave to go stand in line for like a couple hours. I'm so excited. But anyway, um, I hope you guys are doing well this fine Tuesday morning, though. I don't know when you guys are going to see this probably Wednesday or Thursday. So hello. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon, wherever you guys are from. Um, I just want to take a minute to thank everybody for all the love you guys have been showing on my PR video. I didn't really know what to expect because I just never, ever, ever get that much PR. And it was very shocking to me. And you guys are so sweet. And I know that I consistently butcher LYS and SYL. I know I consistently mix up LYS and YSL together all the time. Listen, I don't mean to, but I'm just so excited and grateful that it just happens. It just happens. So how does, so how is everybody's weekend? Um, my weekend was good. Um, so this weekend I went to an event at the Edison where it was like a bourbon event. So I got to go there and meet the different vendors who own like her just like representing different bourbons and try different drinks. It was actually really cool. And then on Sunday, I did something that I have not done 
in so long. I spent almost the entire day at Magic Kingdom because it's my it was my best friend's um, uh, kid's birthday and he was celebrating his fourth birthday. So we went to Magic Kingdom and I have not gone to Magic since September. I tend to avoid that park out of all the parks just because that one is just only so jam-packed and full. I'm gonna go into like this shade right here. So jam-packed and full. And it could just be a lot. Um, it could just be a lot <laughs> to be there, you know. And we were with a group of kids. And, you know, when you're with kids that are under five, they are on their own time. You know what I mean? You can't rush the kids. They are literally on their own time. And you just kind of have to go at their pace. But it was just such a long day. I didn't realize how tired I was until, like, halfway through the day. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I was like... How did I ever use the park hop? I used to park hop like crazy. I used to be able to go to, um, and this is what, this is how I used to park hop, by the way. I start off at Animal Kingdom, ride the roller coaster to Animal Kingdom, then I'd head over to Hollywood Studios, then I'd head over to um, Epcot, and I'd do the rides at Epcot. Now, this is before I was like 21. Head over to Epcot, do the rides at Epcot, and then I'd jump over to Hollywood Studios, do all of the Hollywood studio rides, and then I'd end the day at Magic Kingdom. And that is how I always parked top for years. And in that same exact order, I knew exactly what I wanted, where I was going. And it'd be like a eight to nine o'clock adventure where I'm just there all day. And I don't know how I used to be able to do that. Like, I was crazy because now you ask me to do that all day, I'm like, Oh, <laughs> my feet were killing me. Uh, my feet were killing me. I was like, this is insane. Like, I just, <sighs> I don't have the youthful strength that I once did, apparently. It's actually really pretty eyeshadow palette. It's really nice. I like this. Now that the eyes are pretty much done, we're just going to go with something very basic because, like I said, I'm going to be, you know, at this event today and I want it to be pretty, like, standard. So we're going to go in with the base. So I've been trying out the new Kosas uh, Dream Beam Sunlit Sunscreen. I've been trying this out. I really do enjoy this to like a no makeup day because it literally just gives me a beautiful bronzy glow and it lasts me all day. I don't want to put this on now because this is so greasy, <laughs> like super greasy and I need my makeup to last me all day. So we're going to go in just with a Estee Lauder. This is the Double Wear Smooth and Blur Primer because I need my foundation to last me as long as I can because I'm pretty much gonna be wearing this makeup for close to like 12 hours. So I'm gonna need her to be a little gentle with me today. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So I um, was really shocked by how much I spent at the Sephora sale. Y'all know I like never, ever, 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 ever go that crazy. Um, I normally can never afford to. And I couldn't really do, I really shouldn't have done this this time either, but there was just there's just so much new makeup that I just really wanted to try and I feel like ever since I got back from the New Orleans trip I just feel I don't know inspired I feel like honestly ever since I got my job back at Disney I feel kind of inspired to create content but like now I have like so much to film and so little time that I'm just like I don't know what to do. I'm actually kind of overwhelmed. Um, I'm going to go into the new Urban Decay. This is the Face Bond Foundation. If you guys have not seen, I did a whole reel. I did a whole YouTube short on this where I wore this for 12 hours. I will say it's a very beautiful foundation. You don't need to set your face with setting powder with this. I'm going to today because I do have some setting powder to test out and I just want to see how well it works and I need to control the oil. I did get oily with this by the end of the night, but it didn't separate. It didn't lift. It didn't transfer and it still looked really nice. So I knew that if I just came in with like blotting powder or like a setting powder, I probably could have made the makeup go back to looking as fresh as possible. So I've really been enjoying this. It's a really, really nice foundation, especially really oily skin. And I did get questions asking if this will work for dry skin. I don't know. I would assume so. I would just assume that for dry skin, you probably just need very like hydrating glowing products underneath and then kind of go from there but like i don't know how well it's going to work for dry skin just because i don't have dry skin i just can speak for very oily skin and right now i've really been enjoying this foundation anyways i was saying before i went back to disney i was kind of like what do i film like what do i do and now that i've gotten the job at disney and i came back from vegas i just have so much content to film i have it all written down i feel like i just have bar barely like any time and i feel like so bad because i feel like you guys are missing out on stuff from me so i think i'm just gonna take the weekend this weekend to kind of film some extra stuff for you guys you might just see some more shorts so that i am touching on things i do want to touch on like i never had a chance to film the new glam light um kiss collection um and i think the reason too for that one is that they didn't send that to me 
Um, actually, a funny story <laughs> with that one. They um, for not I wouldn't say forgot, but I ended up I ended up not getting it in PR, and I ended up just buying the palette myself because I wanted to get something, and I realized I didn't get it when everybody else was getting there. I never saw tracking for Glamite, and I was like, oh shit, like it, you know, it is what it is. It happens. I didn't think that I was taking off the list or anything like that. I just think that something happened where I just didn't have a package. And then they saw me, um, you know, they saw me um, being so excited that I got that I, my paid for package came in. They reached out and said, oh my God, did you not get the PR? And I said, no, but it's okay. Like, I just really wanted to have the package. I really want to have the palette, so it's no big deal. And they said, nope. And they went ahead and they, they expressed me like overnight the PR collection from Kiss. So by the time that I ended up getting it, I actually was leaving to go to, um, I believe it was either Vegas or New Orleans. I think it was New Orleans, but I ended up getting it. So that's why I didn't have time to film it. And now I feel like I don't even have enough time because I want to film testing out the makeup that I got in PR. Like if you guys did not recently see, I did a massive PR unboxing, which I never ever get that much PR. I was very shocked that I did because um, that like never happens for me and I don't know why it happened and I know you guys were so sweet we're like oh well you're so deserving of it I don't feel deserving of it just because I feel like I don't do anything special except just sit here and um put makeup on the internet and talk to you guys you know what I mean like I don't know what I do that's deserving of it um I definitely have the imposter syndrome where I just don't feel like I'm good enough for anything and um, I've been really trying to work on that I've really trying to work on my mental health to feel just like I am good enough to just be here that's something I've been really focusing on myself and like really putting myself first and um it's really been making a difference you know I've been talking to people about it and, and whatnot and it's really been helping but at the same time um you know it's just it, it's 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 just very overwhelming but like in a good way because I am very grateful it's just I just you know you guys are so sweet like well you deserve it I'm like well shit so do you like I don't do anything special you know what I mean so um I just I got a lot of stuff to try out for you guys and I feel like I just have so little time because I now that I'm back at work um it's just you know, me trying to, I'm trying to do everything and I feel like I can't. So if you don't see me review stuff, it's not because I don't want to, it's just because I feel like I don't have enough time to. And I feel like makeup is like such ever evolving and I feel like it's always just like new stuff coming out that I want to like get to and I don't always just get to everything and I'm just kind of like <sighs> frustrated with myself. But I'm gonna try to do as best I can, get to as much stuff as I can. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do my next video. I kind of wanna do like a get ready with me and I talk about the Tarte event because like always by the time you guys see this, the Tarte event already happened while I'm testing out makeup that I got in PR. And that also includes the makeup that I got when I was in New Orleans, kind of like mixing the two together because I also have some fun challenge videos that I really wanna do too that I think are a lot of fun like I know a lot of people really did enjoy my 2004 makeup video and I had so much fun with that and I have other content like that that I want to you know do for you guys so yeah <laughs> um, I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil this is the melting bronzing and sculpting stick it says do you like the pros do it do it like the pros our easy cream and bronzer sculpting skip gives you a natural second looking skin warmth and dimension that smells as good as it looks use a dense brush or fingers to swipe along outer edges of face, forehead, cheekbones, and nose, then blend effortlessly, effortlessly for a sun-kissed look. Cool. Now, to me, this smells like a Tootsie Roll. I don't, I don't that's the only thing I smell is Tootsie Roll. Oh, shit, this looks like Dookie. <laughs> Shoot. This, wait, does it blend? Okay, wait, hold on. What shade did I get? chocolate mousse chocolate mousse i got the shade chocolate mousse it's i think it's our lightest shade um this looks a little bit more gray than it does bronzing right right this looks gray not bronzing okay well it does melt into the skin <laughs> i don't think it gives me that sun kiss look hold up light bronze i got the shade chocolate mousse which is a light bronze should i've gotten chocolate caramel for tan bronze well shit all right well we're gonna make this work anyway um so yeah i have some like fun challenges that i want to do for you guys because i think they're so much fun and they allow me to like really get creative with my editing so i've really been falling back in love with editing for like i've been loving like the stuff that i've been doing so i want to do that so i just gotta like find the time i think i'm just like i said i'm gonna take the next like two weekends to really kind of like pull everything together because i also want to do a declutter 
because my collection is already getting so overwhelmingly full because unfortunately for me, I told myself this year that I was going to slow down on my buying and I <laughs> clearly was like, <laughs> did you say speed up? So that's kind of what I did. And I feel like my collection is getting a little overwhelming for me. I don't like having an over full collection. I don't like things sitting on top of each other. It just looks so cluttered for me. And I know a lot of people out there love having like a really abundant collection. Like, you know, and I get it because it just shows like, you know, the hard work you put into it. But for me, I also find that to be a little wasteful because I know realistically, I'm never going to get to all these products. So for me, I just feel like they're just kind of just sitting here getting a little wasteful and I don't like that. So I just rather um, declutter what I can and make room for the new stuff that I have. So yeah <laughs> um i will say this bronzer is definitely not bad it looks a little bit more gray tone than it does like bronzy it just gives me like a gray overcast i feel like it does melt into the skin but i just feel like this was more of a contour wand than an actual like bronzer do you know what i mean like that's kind of like the vibe that i'm getting right now um i didn't buy any new blush now i do have these sephora kits right here where I do want to do like a full face testing this out, but I think I'm going to save them for like shorts and stuff like that. Do like a full face of these. So I'm going to save these for like my shorts because I really want to go into these and like do like a full face or as close to as a full face as I can. So I'm just going to grab a random blush because I did not buy any blushes this uh, Sephora. Oh, you know, I did. I could use the Rare Beauty. I'll use the Rare Beauty blushes since you guys haven't seen me use those. So I'm just going to quickly go in with some concealer. I'm just going to go in with the Urban Decay concealer just because I'm using Urban Decay foundation. And it's also just sitting right here. So it's going to kind of go in with this. I feel like you guys are one of those days you just like you're struggling to get words out. I feel like that's me right now. I'm struggling to get words out right now. I'm trying to do like a get ready with me, test our new makeup. And I feel like I am just struggling to talk apparently. <laughs> so I was trying to just say was that I'm trying to just find the balance between both and I will continue to post as much content as I can. If that means I have to start posting videos on the weekend, you might start getting videos from me on the weekend because I work during the week and that might be my only time is to do stuff on the weekend. So anyway, um, I'm gonna try out the brand new Laura Mercier. This is a translucent pressed powder. This is an ultra blurring prime um, powder that says it sets makeup for extended lightweight, it sets makeup for an extended weightless wear with a matte soft focus infused with ultra blurring ingredients like amino acid and silica powder blends. Laura's new formula helps blur the look of skin and control shine. So technically this foundation does not require any setting powder. However, I do get very oily. So I feel like I should still try the setting powder, especially since I'm trying to do uh, an all day wear. We're going to go ahead and set the face with this. So I'm just going to take what they have. This is the translucent one. And we're just going to lightly place this on the face. I have never cared for Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I know a lot of people out there really do love the original formula. But for me, and why does this have a scent? It's like a sweet chemical. For me, I just personally never care for the setting powder because I felt like it never did anything for the oil and I got really oily when wearing it. So I never care for the original formula. I know a lot of people out there do. I just, for oily skin, it just wasn't for me. So we're gonna try out this pressed powder to see if I notice anything. I don't know how this is going to mix with the Urban Decay because like I said, the Urban Decay just says no, no powder needed. And I kind of liked how my face was looking when I got a little shiny because it just looked, made me look really glowy. Like when I did the PR unboxing, a lot of you guys were saying that you loved how my makeup was looking. And I'm like, y'all, it is my oil, my oil. I could batch it for you guys if you want. That was shining through in the video. I don't like how this smells. This smells like a sweet chemical. I cannot place it. I'm not a fan. Well, I would say that this definitely looks like I am wearing powder. Um, a thousand percent. This looks like I'm wearing powder on my face. It doesn't look bad, but I do look like I am wearing powder. So there is that. Bars do look a little diffused. Not gonna lie, they do look a little diffused. It's not bad. My face does nice. Does look nice, soft, and blurred, but I don't like the smell. Oh, it's kind of stinky. Kind of stinky. Okay. So now we're going to go in with bronzer. This is my first time going in with a Sephora bronzer. We're going to use this to kind of glow back over the cream bronzer that we just placed because I just felt like 
well, that wasn't really a bronzer. <laughs> so I'm just going to take this. I'm just going to lightly go right here. I know a lot of you guys told me to try out more stuff from the Sephora collection. I really want to. It was just when I went in person, I could not find anything like for a full face. Like my section was very bare bones. So we're just going to go get it online. This is fragrance too. What is with the fragrance of these products? This is pretty like perfumey interesting now that this is on i do like how the bronzer looks i look very like bronzy right now we're gonna go in with the rare beauty blushes so i have the shade called cheer and i have the shade called hope now i did put on hope earlier so we're gonna go in a little bit of cheer because i think it's a little bit lighter in pigment now when i first tried these they're not bad they're definitely more of like a topper than anything else i'm just gonna take very little of it but more like a topper than anything else because they do have a little bit of a luminous glow to it so i feel like with wearing this i really don't need to be wearing any sort of highlighter because i feel like it's just going to accentuate my texture it's going to accentuate my pores so like a little bit does go a long way um i know like i when i did my little review review on these live you guys were like oh it's just great for a topper no i totally agree but like look at that you know what I mean? I have any new highlighter, but I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite highlighters now, and that is this highlighter from Iconic London. I am just obsessed with this highlighter. I just think it's so freaking beautiful. There's just something about it that just, you can build it up, you can build it down, and it is just so gorgeous. I live for this Iconic London. It has become my favorite, favorite highlighter. Y'all, this is just so worth it to me. I'm just gonna quickly do my under eyes and my mascara off camera because I don't have any new mascara to try. So I'll be right on back. Okay, so I just quickly blue germ blue dried my hair. And um and now we're gonna go ahead and do um our lips. So I did try out this brand new um Huda Beauty 90s lip duo. I tried out the lip liner and the clear gloss because that's what I wore in my Friday video that you guys saw in my PR haul. I like it, but I just felt like the Huda Beauty gloss. Like it's really shiny, but it didn't have as long longevity as I wanted. And then the lip liner itself, maybe because it's so creamy, it did not stay on very long. Like it moved a lot when I ate and drank. So I'm actually gonna go in with a different liner today. I'm just gonna go in with my one of my favorites, which is the John Luke Cosmetics. This is the shade called Mother Pucker. We're gonna line my lips with this today because I'm gonna try out the new Summer Friday Lip Oil, which so many of you guys told me horrible things about it. I'm just kind of like, no. <laughs> and yes, it's breaking right now. That's why it's looking like shit. I'm gonna take my setting powder because I really want this to not move and it really does a great job of not moving, but I'm just gonna set my liner really fast just to make sure this is gonna last me all day. So I have two new lip oils. I have the Gazoo. This is a honey infused lip oil in the shade Watermelon Sugar. And then I also have the Summer Fridays Dream Lip Oil. Now, so many of you guys told me that this leaks and that this is not a good product that once i open this it's just going to start to leak and just get everywhere and you guys said that's not that good most of you guys told me you guys had to return this so uh, maybe i'll save this and try out the gazoo because i think this would be really pretty with this look right now so i think i'm just going to try this hopefully this does not have the same issue like look at how gorgeous this is right let's see what this is like i've never tried this brand Ugh, i don't really care for the smell of it This is a gloss. This is olive oil. This feels like a gloss. It's pretty thick. So it's nice. It feels like a gloss. It does not feel like a lip oil. Like it feels like a gloss. This is a, what is this? What did I just put on my lips? This is a um, an intense hydrating lip oil powered by something honey and bee garden oils for glossy shine and no stickiness. Drench your lips with this swipe of color and juicy scent of fruits most loved by honeybees. This feels kind of thick. It doesn't feel sticky, just feels kind of thick. But this is $28. The fuck? It's not worth that, no. <laughs> Okay, let me go ahead and quickly zoom you guys out. Okay, so this is pretty much a full face of all the items that I picked up from the Sephora sale. There are a few things that I didn't try, like the two Sephora kits right here. Obviously, you're not gonna see me try the perfume, which by the way, smells amazing. I didn't try the Summer Friday Lip Oil and the one Huda Beauty Gloss. I did try the Clear Gloss, but I didn't try the other colorful one. Everything else I did try. I really do like that K18 hairspray. It does work. It just takes a little bit of finagling to go with it. But overall, I did spend quite a bit of money on these products we're going to kind of test them out throughout the month to see how i feel based upon first impressions i think i'm pretty happy with my purchase for the most part i definitely think i could have skipped on the huda beauty 90s gloss kit i could have skipped on this i honestly probably could have skipped on this lip gloss oil thing right here it's 28 dollars, and i don't really get for what purpose 
is it $20 for? Like, it looks like a, just a no, normal lip gloss. It doesn't feel like anything special. Um, the Laura Mercier setting powder, I do like how it's looking. Um, it does make my face look nice and blurred. Uh, the chocolate stick from Too Faced, it's not bad. It just doesn't seem like it's my right color, maybe. Just more like a contour stick. I do like the setting powder. I do like the bronzer from Sephora. The lip Dr. Dennis Gross. This thing, like kind of hurts my lips <laughs> but I want to keep testing it out uh the Urban Decay I really do like this Urban Decay so there's quite a few things I did try that I actually am pretty satisfied with but some things I haven't tried yet which we will definitely get to so I'm sorry this video is just seems like I don't know in my mind it seems lackluster because I feel like I was just kind of Blah, right at you guys it's like first thing in the morning i haven't had my coffee and i'm just kind of spilling things at you guys and not really making any sense at least in my head i'm not but it's because i'm trying to quickly hurry up so i can go to this event and then i'm going to film a follow-up video or i'm going to do like a get ready with me where i test out a full face of makeup that i got in pr while I'm telling you guys about my tart experience because i'm just really curious how this is going to go i hope it's not a waste of my time i'm kind of scared that it will be I'll let you guys know in a follow-up video. But anyway, this is my full face of the items that I got at the Sephora haul. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like the stuff I get? Do you guys not? Did you guys pick up anything I talked about? Let me know. I am, for the most part, like 90% happy with the items that I got. So anyway, I hope you guys did not mind my rambling. I hope you guys did not mind the lackluster, boring video that today's video is. But I just wanted to test out some new makeup and just talk to my friends. And I definitely want to bring out some more fun videos like my challenges coming up because I just, I had such a good time with those. They were so much fun to film. But yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. My beautiful, lovely, most beautiful friends in the entire world. I hope you guys have the best day. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video, for liking this video, even for thumb sounding this video. I appreciate it nonetheless. And for those who did subscribe, thank you so, so much. And if you are, uh, and if you are a returning subscriber, ah, oh, thank you for still being here with me on this wild journey. But on this wild journey. And if you guys did not know, I do have a separate channel. It's called Our Photo Life, where I do post random vlogs of my ventures here in Florida with my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful page members. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to you guys as well. Thank you guys so much for everything. I love each and every single one of you. So with that said, guys, I love you. And I'll see you guys in my next video.